Hi Taurus, welcome to your singles reading for February. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're returning or new, welcome, welcome. So hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So Taurus is going to take a look at the single life of Taurians. See what's going on for you. Uh, take a look at everything. Uh, work, career, money, finances and love. We're going to look at it all for you singles. So I'm going to pull some oracles here, get some opening energies, and then we'll get to the tarot, and we're just going to do a whole bunch of cards, see what's going on for you. So if this does resonate for you, uh, Taurus, it'll be an extended reading, and I will tell you all about that at the end of this reading. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective reading. Not everything in here may resonate, only take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I could pick up on past, present, or future. I will say the signs as I see them. So it could be just the energy, or it could be signs in your chart, somebody else's chart. So please do keep that in mind also. There are also timestamps below, so for those who like to get right to the timestamps, those are there for your use. So Taurus, Taurus. So let's see. Everything you need to know about me in this channel is down below in the description box and the pinned top comment. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. If you missed it, your 2021 12-month forecast link is below. Uh, I completed those the other week. Uh, so still time to watch that. It's 12 months out, month by month. So if you want to see that, that's below. Um, I've added new Twin Flame readings to the channel, so the link for the playlist is below if you'd like to check those out. I'll also be adding each individual signs Twin Flame reading and um, other Twin Flame readings as the masculine, the feminine, and all kind of readings like that. Uh, very interesting. And pick a card, weekly pick a card, and monthly prediction for your zodiac sign timestamp. That's out for February, so you go to my main page and check that out. I don't believe I linked it down below, but uh, if you want to check that out, go on over to my homepage after you watch this, and you can go check that out. It's time stamped. All right, let's get one more oracle here for you, for Taurus, and see what's going on in the single life of Taurus. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective reading for Taurus. Let's see what's coming in. Work, career, money, finances, and love. Okay. For Taurus. All right. Let's see what we have for you. Eternal flame. Oh, so there could be somebody coming back that you've always had an internal flame for. This could be a past life person. This could be someone from the past, or you could be meeting your eternal flame, or there's somebody in your heart that you never forgot, that you never could let go of, no matter how hard you tried. That flame is always there. Twin could be twin flame energy. All right. And that eternal flame could also be drive, passion, um, ambition, you know, desire to accomplish something, like something you've always had, um, that sole mission, that so sole purpose to do, that always was like an internal flame for you. Maybe you never followed down that path, but it was always there with the spark inside you. So maybe you could be returning back to that eternal flame within you. So we have the five of Raphael. Everything happens for a reason. Release, regret, and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. So this is the five of cups. This is about sadness, loss, regret kind of energy. So we'll see where that is going to go. And, you know, maybe something happened here with a soulmate twin flame. So we have Spirit of Air. This just came out for um, one of the water signs I just did. So, you know, Spirit of Air is all about truth, clarity, communication, ideas, um, imagination, cutting away obstacles no longer serving, standing up, telling it like it is kind of energy also. So we'll see uh, clearing the air. So let's see where this is going. Clearing the air out, out of um, clearing the air over some sort of sadness, loss, or regret. Maybe regarding a soulmate or twin flame, or maybe regretting not following your um, that flame within you you've had for a dream, desire, a goal. Now having that mental clarity. So let's see where this is going for Taurus. What is this energy about for Taurus? Work, career. 
finances, money, love. We're going to look at it all. Oh my gosh, it's way too many. Okay, we'll take, all right, we'll take these four. So we got the Nine of Cups. So that could be self-fulfillment or maybe somebody was being selfish. It's usually about happiness, joy, wish fulfillment, but also somebody just uh, fulfilling their own cups and being kind of selfish also. But we have Soulmate Union here. We have the Eight of Pentacles, putting in hard work. Then we have the Ace of Wands, very fiery, passionate new beginning here. So let's see, um, let's get one more. Let's get one more for Taurus. What is this energy about for Taurus? The Four of Swords. So thinking and contemplating, that's right on the spirit of air. So that's a lot of thinking and contemplating here. About some sort of fiery passion in the beginning, a spark, Eight of Pentacles, again, um, Eight of Cups. I feel like there was something, because the Two of Cups can be about, for me, also about soul alignment. It can be card of soulmate union um but for me it's sort of like the card of soulmate um soul alignment with yourself also like making that right choice for you that brings in your soul alignment so i feel like um i feel like at one time maybe you could have been working very hard on something it was a, a something creative new a spark idea imagination endeavor project or something here thinking about it thinking about it you actually could have been in the process of working on this goal this dream this desire when you met a soulmate but that soulmate was very selfish maybe they wanted all of your time you know you wanted to work on this but they're like you know like always by your side and maybe you know maybe they were kind of selfish you know they kind of blocked you um from like changing your world and you know, maybe you were working on something here hoping this could change your dynamic your world and for some reason maybe you had to stop you know you had to stop you just couldn't um do it but uh let's see let's see where this is going it could be that or it could be um you know maybe you know you thought you were working hard in a relationship and um somebody was just kind of being selfish all about the fire and passion could have been very in and out energy but it is a soulmate because we have soulmate union here so now we have the queen of Pen uh queen of pentacles energy so uh this is capricorn energy it could be your energy virgo taurus or capricorn so this is you know somebody who makes their coin their money they look good you know they're financially set it's all about growth and abundance all right what else here for taurus death so scorpio energy here um you know it's about transformation or something something ending you know maybe you know you i feel like you were following a dream and then you met this soulmate and they kind of took all your time maybe you even married at one point but now maybe that relationship has ended yeah there's a lot of sadness and loss around it you know especially if it was a long term relationship whether it was marriage or just a commitment or a relationship here. But I feel like now um, this gives you the opportunity to go in pursuit of your dreams again. Like looking back and saying, you know, I started this and I never finished it. Yeah, Emperor here. I can't make that up. Aries, Emperor, Empress, you know, being, you know, the owner of your own business, the king of your own domain, taking full charge of who you are, who you want to be, your destiny. And also that could be, you know, can be a husband or wife. But I feel like here, let's see, let's get a couple more. Or Taurus. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Looking back, like, I became, you know, a husband or wife to somebody, which halted my dream. But now it could also be that that relationship is kind of over. So now it's like looking back on what you've already invested in in the past and like, okay, I'm ready to pick this, you know, pick this up and start it again. Like start the harvest again. Hoping to like replant the seeds, hoping it will grow and flourish. Yeah. Taking action on it here with the um, Knight of Wands at Sagittarius energy. Feeling fiery and passionate, like I'm ready to invest again in my goal, my dream, my purpose. 
Now we have the star energy. I feel like this one's over here. So this is a divinely guided energy. A lot of healing, you know, over that. And also, you no know, wishes and dreams coming true. Divinely guided energy to remain hopeful and optimistic. A lot of healing. I don't really think you're interested in love at the moment. That, that's kind of what I feel. You're ready to go on a new path. Page of Wands. Yeah, walking away from something here. Definitely go on a new journey. Laying down a burden here. So let's see what else is coming in here for. I think you have mental clarity. I feel like, you know, there'll probably always be a piece of your heart that this person will always have a piece of your heart, but it probably just didn't work out. And, you know, having that total mental clarity. And I, I just feel like for some, you're just not really interested in anyone or anything, but sometimes it's when you're not looking <laughs> and you're not interested is when you find the one that's meant for you. That's always how it happens. Judgment. So we got Scorpio energy here, again here. This is about healing and forgiving the past, you know, letting it go. It can be about soulmate resurrection or it can just be resurrecting it so we can heal it, mend it, forgive it, let it go. And just move, make that judgment call to move on to new things. Because this angel usually usually brings in what's meant for you. Whether it's a soulmate or something else. Could be a better soulmate for you coming up here. And I feel like it's going to be when you're not even looking. And then boom, all of a sudden the universe is probably just going to place your true soulmate right in front of you. Five of swords. But you may sabotage it because I feel like you're not interested in anything right now. You just want to concentrate on you. Your dreams, your goals, your desires, your... Um, that's too many. All right, yeah, I don't like how those fell. Uh, what you're trying to manifest here, what you're trying to create. Seven of Wands. I think you're fighting for something. You're fighting for uh, your passion again. Three of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you've done your healing work uh, from whatever this that uh, happened to you, relationship that ended. The swords fell out here. This is the after tarot. So that means the heart has healed and the swords have fallen out and it's on its way to healing, or it is healed. Six of Cups. This is returning to, this could be, you know, maybe returning to someone else from the past. This could be, you know, returning of a soulmate, or re returning to a soulmate from the past, or returning back home, or uh, returning to that fire and passion within you had at a very young age of what you wanted to accomplish in life, like returning back again to your, your soul mission and purpose, and maybe even, um, you know, thinking fondly back in the past or childhood. Maybe you wanted to go back home. You know, all, all of us right now, we can't do that. But, all right. Oops. Okay, that's, did see the Page of Cups. So, what else is coming in here for Taurus? Justice. Yeah, some of you could have been recently divorced. Also, with Justice and Judgment. Libra energy here definitely, definitely could have been just divorced. Um, here also, but again, clarity, truth, balance, getting justice, serving justice. Now you can work on getting the uh, justice you've always wanted in your life by following the eternal flame you've always had in your soul for what you wanted to create or accomplish uh, in life. Or Taurus, what else here for Taurus? Seven of Cups. I think you're a little confused about love. I, I don't even think you're looking for love. I think you're, you know, just doing your thing. Yeah, here's, you know, somebody leaving somebody behind to go set off on a new journey. You know, feeling a little disenchanted, melancholy. But uh, it's got the wand in hand and is ready to set forth. And the page of wands is usually about, you know, good news coming in or out. But he looks kind of blah and sad, so... And she looks kind of blunt and sad, so uh, let's see. Let's get a few more here for you, Taurus. Five of Pentacles, yeah. All right, one more, one more. Magician, but you're making it happen. You know, through loss, you're making things happen now. Ten of Wands, yeah, you finally lay down a burden. Not that this person was a burden. And I feel like in a way, they could have been very demanding with their time and energy. 
memory, uh, maybe very uh, codependent, um, or just very needy, you know? I don't think they were really bad. I think they just took a lot of your time, and it took your time away from your true uh, purpose, what you were trying to accomplish, and now you have clarity that, you know, I'm ready to, uh, yeah, clarity here, ready to move forward in a new direction. But, uh, yeah, working here, success, victory, following your heart. And I, I think you're just kind of on a pause from love. I don't think you're really interested in love right now. But we are going to go to the extended, so we'll see if there's anything unexpected coming in for you. Um, you know, I'm going to see how this adventure, whatever this is for you, endeavor, adventure, project, something career-wise... How this is going to go for something, especially if it was something you were just starting years ago and you kind of put it on the back burner due to this relationship and now this relationship is over and now you're like, okay, now I can pick up where I left off. Whatever it is for you, we're going to see, you know, how that's going to go. And then just for the heck of it, let's see if there's anything new, uh, whether you're looking or not, coming in uh, for love. And if this isn't your energy, this could be, I don't know, maybe somebody, somebody's energy around you um, or maybe somebody you're dealing with that has just gone through this. Also, so, you know, take it how it resonates for you. But we'll go in the extended, see how this energy is going to play out. If there's anything new coming in in love, whether you're looking and not or not, just so you can be prepared. And uh, we'll get some Hidden Truth Oracles. So if there is new love coming in, uh, we'll see what's going to happen. What's the energy of that? Or we'll see how this past person, you know, feels. You know, I don't know if you're hoping for reconciliation. I didn't really see that there, although the Judgment card can be that. Uh, but with... I was to say with divorce here, but with justice here, it definitely could have been a divorce or something like that. But manifesting the new, this is Gemini Virgo energy also. We did have a lot of signs here, but uh, Cancer, Cancer, two cards of Cancer. So I'll do that, pull three new oracles, uh, new tarot deck, and then I'm going to go through every sign. So whoever you're dealing with, Aries through Pisces, I'll pull a couple cards on each to see what the energy is. So um, you could watch someone rising Venus your chart, their chart, see what the energies are like. So links are below to uh, Vimeo or Patreon uh, if you're interested in the extended. And if you did like this and you like how I read, please do check out the channel. Like, share, subscribe, and comment it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Don't forget to hit the bell and you won't miss out on any future readings. And if you do, thank you, thank you, and welcome to the family. So if you go with the extended, I shall see you there. If not, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.